Hockey. Spill Allen along with Jason Marshall of Richard telling me happy to bring you Redman Hockey here from Breakaway. Today's February 8th and today's opponent, the Boston Latin Wolfpack. His play is underway. Chip down in the Tewksbury zone, handled there by Caden Con Connors, the captain. Nice pass, can't connect. In the center of the ice it goes. On the ball, it's number 15. Carrera, one of the players to look out for for the Boston Latin squad if they chip in on Benny O'Keefe. As we're in game number 14 for the Redmen, they go to the left side. They'll go from uh, right to left across your uh, channel 34 screen. This We start this one. Quick face-off teams will change up quick. You had uh, Caden Connors with Nick DiCaccio, Jason Cook, Aaron Connolly, and Cole Stone there on that first shift. Redmen come into this one with a 12-1 record. Very, very strong here as they uh, do battle. Breakout now, it's number 14, Tyler Barnes. Chips it in, taking it wide on the wall. Barnes tries to go to the front. Some twist and turn, some help in the corner. That's uh, Sean Lane, number 15. No icing as the Wolfpack clear it down. Picaccio still out there for the Redmen. Can't connect, picked off. Good read there by Bova, the forward. The senior forward for the, the, the Wolfpack that's hit with the glove, but stays in play as Tewksbury played it. On the wall, some tough pushing there. James Fitzgerald has it around the end. Boards doesn't connect. Old was skating it, but collecting it is Connor. And he's able to hit Lane with it as he breaks it through, chips it down deep. Oh, deflected off the glove of tonight's goalie, Luke Young. Almost flooded by him. And those happen a couple of times a year. As Tewksbury brings it in. Bench gets energies. It's the new lines out. Down behind the wall, it's Ryan Flynn working hard. He's got uh, Connor Kremen helping him. Tewksbury with some zone time, kept in at the line. DiCaccio to the screen, doesn't make it through. Still loose. Jason Cook had a crack at it. Finally, it's cleared back out. This will be icing. From Boston Latin, just on the way here in the first period. 12.49 to go. There's no score. Redmen versus the Wolfpack. Interesting for the Wolfpack now as we take uh, a look at their last five. They're two and three, but they've played uh, very, very competitively after a long, long layoff. Earlier in December, the town of Boston shut down and about three weeks worth of hockey, not even practices allowed. And they put them behind. There's probably four or five games. Uh, this is game number eight. Formerly for the Wolfpack, where it's game 14 for the Redmen. And uh, their calendar is going to be uh, something like 10 games in 21 days as they close out the season. Historically, between the two teams, uh, four out of the last five times, it's been the Wolfpack who have taken the Redmen down. They didn't play last year. Now breaking, it's Fitzpatrick and a save by O'Keefe. No rebound. So, uh, Historically, the games have been competitive, and again, uh, Boston Latin has had the better edge over the Redmen. Last year's abbreviated schedule, of course, due to the pandemic, they only played about uh, eight games. Play under the way, face off one. Good job by Lane to draw it back. Kept in though, McGuire forces it for the Wolfpack. Now picking it up, it's Sullivan, the captain. Can't get it through a sea of bodies. Sea of red as they have on their three uniforms that the um, Redmen support. We're seeing this one tonight on Sperry Telemedia. Through the screen, oh! Maybe a skim just wide, maybe off the post. Good shot from the point by number 13, Cooper Rubio. Put back in by Lane now. Robillard will go for a change. New D for the Redmen. In on the fourth check, it's Matthew Cook. Through the screen, Cook cuts across. Oh, and made uh, Young grab control of the puck. Never know, on that earlier flip in, uh, 
Young wasn't quite ready and threw his glove out, maybe deflected just at the end to tip it over. And again, energize the Redmen for the following shift. Faceoff's going to be the right of uh, Luke Young. And on the draw, it's uh, Crimin. He's out there with uh, Ryan Flynn. And the other wing is uh, Jeremy and Sagna. It's the red men in the neutral zone. Kremen now takes it wide, tries to get a shot away. Was interfered with briefly there by Ben Young. I don't know, don't know if he's related to you, uh, Luke, we'll find out. But in the wall, taking charge of Cicaccio. He's taking Tom Harnan to the Harnan brothers, playing behind the net as the physical play picks up. Playing a lot of bodies, nothing to the net though. Killing off for a change will be the Boston Latin Wolfpack. And rushing in as Picaccio doesn't work. Chip back in. Back for it is Caden Connors, leading scorer for the Redmen. Twists and turns, buys time off the glass. Worked out nicely that time. Cole Stone kind of used his shoulder to direct the pass. It's neutral zone. They're back in, so we're seeing a lot of that. Players stepping up and a lot of uh, bodies right in front of us here. Petraccio finds his partner. Connors now, he'll take it wide, pulls up, gets some shot of the net, and a good pad save. Controlled the rebound was Luke Young that time. And play on that left wall. Fighting through the traffic, James Fitzgerald can't make it. There goes Connors again, fires it off. A nice stick save, good form. That was Jason Cook giving it a drive, going through the far corner. Shipped out as uh, Justin Moon, the senior defenseman just out there, goes to the right side, and again, teeing off. That's three for Jason Cook on that shift, I believe. Testing Luke Young, but he uh, looks solid. Left pad save a minute ago. We're at 9.31 to go, first period. And the faceoff's gonna be this time to uh, Young's left. The official's trying to square the players up. Lane again, good faceoff man. Can't get it through the sea of bodies. Behind, trying to peel off, it's Wayne Wright. He got stumped, grabs for his mask. Big hit and the crowd erupts here at breakaway. Chipped in, nice try there that time by Tyler Brown, uh, Tyler Barnes. Oh, and there's a retaliation hit. Solid though, both sticks stay down. Matthew Cook felt that one. They stay in the zone, we'll see now. This really picking up, Fitzgerald gets thumped. Breaking the puck out. There's the physical play, uh, nice save by Benny O'Keefe. Bottom of his blocker, chips it to the corner, over by the hash marks, finally picked up at the point. Harnan forces it in, diagonal wall. Two-handed to the back of Matt Cook. Able to clear it out, kept right here in front of us. Pass goes back to Tom Harnan. Through the screen, doesn't make it through. Just like on the Wolfpack side. Bodies lined up in front of the goaltenders, and we'll see what's being called here. Both teams going for a line change with 8.29 to go. Don't think there's any penalties, maybe just a glove. Coach Doherty sending out uh, Jason Cook. First line again, Cole Stone. Good four, good four check, a good face off man too. Cooksbury gets pinned up. Stone in there with the help of Chacho. Chachi throws it down. This is gonna be played by Young, so no icing. Wainwright, that's number six. Gavin Wainwright. Interesting to watch Wainwright. He's actually an eighth grader. Getting an outstanding opportunity here with the uh, Wolfpack. We'll keep an eye on his uh, talents. He's, he's got a bright future ahead of him. On the wall now, trying to break it out. Saunter through the neutral zone. Stood up there, Fitzgerald. And Cole Stone, the quick and speedy Harnan. Throws it to the O'Keefe side, peels it off. Cleared all the way down. Again, Luke Young plays it, no icing. 
There's a penalty on the play, and the Redmen able to continue to push the puck down. 50 seconds to go. I didn't get the call, but it was on number 14, Tyler Barnes. So this is a, the, the quick power play that we're seeing here of the Wolfpack. Firing it in. And Cooksbury stepping up aggressively, not letting Boston Latin set up. Chachio around. Matthew Cook all the way down to the end. 25 to go. And the power play for the Wolfpack. No score here. He's breaking it out. The captain, Tim McGrath, tries to feed Elusive, and it's picked up there by Sean Lane. He'll just put it in. They'll try um, Luke Young once again. That one bounced in. A lot better control with the pads that time. Allows the uh, break. Nice job by Matthew Cook getting in the way of two. Boston Latin offensive and on the rush. As the penalty's up, it's Caden Connors. Not afraid to rush that puck. Smells the offense, knows how to get it started. Behind, good read there as Barnes finds the point. Chaccio behind the net. Sean Ling gets a whack at it. Finally the net with some help from Shane Sullivan, the senior defenseman, almost tipped on top of his goaltender, Luke Young. The official's getting in the way as the uh, Body contact is come in to play early in this one. Six minutes and five seconds to go in the first period. So I was mentioning um, the competitiveness of here of the uh, Boston Latin Wolfpack. They won their last game uh, in overtime style. So they come in here uh, with a, a win previous to that. They uh, lost in overtime and it was to the Lincoln Sudbury team, who uh, we know are the number one uh, ranked in the MC2 right now. And uh, so they play every team tight. They just haven't played enough games. Coach feels, though, that that could help. Roth doesn't go. Nice opportunity that time. Throwing it to the net was Justin Rooney. Another hit. And that's Stone throwing his weight around that time. Richard Bova. The junior forward made the glass rattle in the crowd right there to let them feed off the energy. Tewksbury has the only, only penalty. And again, that's uh, the type of game to expect tonight. Play on the way now. It's in Sogna, chips it in. Goes for it is number 24, Brady Chapman. Get some help down low from Ryan Flint. And Sogna tries to come in for the hit. Around the end plate. Kept in at the line. Rooney throws it through. Slightly deflected by Brady Chapman on his way over. Hit the side of the net. You could hear the clanging off the post. Behind, there's a trip, no call. Ryan Flynn went down, but picking it up again. Oh, screen that time. Justin Rooney with a blast from the left point. Finally trying to chip it out. Oh, and it eludes in Sagna that time. Rooney will pick it up. Try to keep the momentum going for the Redmen. With 4.36, no score here at breakaway. And in the corner, trying to get body position was Cooper Robillard, the sophomore. Chipped in. Good check right here. Chapman now fans at it briefly, chips it over the net, but he's got help down low. Matt Cook surveys, can't break it out, goes back to center ice, collected there by Caden Connors. He flips it in, gets some help by Sean Lane, and again it's behind the red line of the Wolf Pack, circling out of the zone, trying to find space. It's Tyler Barn settling it down behind the net, set up there. Lane can't go, picked off in front. It's number 12. John Gil Martin, a senior for the Boston Latin Wolf Pack. He picked it up briefly and with the help of Richard Bova, who was got it in deep, but he also uh, half of them went into the Cooksbury bench. Physically, these players are getting close. Fearless coming out of the corner now. Somebody's got to get a shot through to the net. There's been nothing outstanding in terms of chances. Let's see what Connors can come up with here. Takes number seven, Ryan. 
And he's back there with him. One of the captains for the Wolfpack. In front, oh, it went on the lane stick. He had a quick opportunity between the circles. So good shooting lane. Fired in high over the net. That was James Fitzgerald. Down there, Bova still throwing his weight around. He's finally going for a change. He's had like three hits and has been hit a few times. Neutral zone pickup, left wall. Tyler Barnes pulls it in, but it's going to be offside. We're under three, no score. Tuxbury's probably had the more territorial in terms of uh, puck control, but the shots have been. Uh, under control as far as Luke Young, the goaltender, goes. And Ben O'Keefe equal on the Tewksbury side. He's finally chipped in the wall. Young allows Cole Stone to play it. Puck following Rooney here in this first period. He went to his deep partner down low on the wall. Players converge. Battling for position, Jason Cook. He gets knocked down. Stone in to help him, picked up on the wall, trying to make the play. Robillard holds his post, chipped down behind the wall, picked up there by Aiden Fitzpatrick, around to the other side. Boston Latin can't clear it. Redmond continue to keep the pressure on. Finally breaking it out is Patrick Harnan. The junior weaves. Throws it into a corner, no one there to help. They have been changing the line. Here come the fresh troops now. Throwing it in. At the wall, Cooksbury able. No, they're not able to break through. Nice play by Robert Banks. The sophomore defenseman on the wall. Open. It's Aaron Connolly. He tried to connect with Kremen, who was creeping behind the D. They'll try again indirectly off the wall. Picked up there. Blue line of Boston Latin. It's Harnan. Fired in. By Jason Cook, he's got to lead both teams in shots so far. He's got four, probably four or five already. Uh, and most of them from just on top of that right circle. He likes to fire it up and hope for a rebound. Tuxbury looking for that first goal. They're so effective when they get that first goal. Redmond coming off a disappointing three to two loss to Marshfield, their first this season. So they're looking to uh, climb right back in the winner's circle tonight. Of course, that game was part of the Ed Burns Coffee Cup tournament that's been going on throughout the month of February. Around the wall, Picaccio laid a knee out, no penalty. Chipped in. Young not taking any chances now with a minute six to go. There'll be a face-off in the uh, Boston Latin Wolfpack zone. Talking to Coach Doherty today, so he, uh, the uh, game so, so competitive against Marshfield as the Redmen rallied from down two into the third period to tie it at two. It went down to the last minute, two, and uh, right off the faceoff, crazy bounce. And uh, it was a quick end after that. Redmen fought valiantly in that third period. So from the drive with one minute to play, you may have heard the speaker. And Tewksbury looking to get a couple of opportunities before the break. Bouncing puck, back in the corner again. Tyler Barnes, right in on the check. Down the wall, good play by Latin. Chipped in, goes a chance, save. Ben O'Keefe, he read it well, it was a fluttering puck. Breakout, going full battle there was Matthew Cook. Picked up, corners now, weaves. Can't get through. Bova, he's had a good period. Trips it in. Connors again, 11 seconds to go. They have to hurry. Wayne Wright off the wall. Picked up there. Herrera throws it in. Oh, keep the save. He had to make the save. He's breaking right in with Fitzgerald after. So uh, quick uh, play made out of nothing by the Latin. Wolfpack, and that's going to do it for the first period of play. There is no score here at Breakaway as we bring you Tewksbury Redmen Hockey. Stay with us for the second period. And ready for second period action here at Breakaway Arena, February 8th, 2022. 
From left to right this time, your Tewksbury Redmen as they face off against the Boston Latin Wolfpack. Played them tough. As mentioned earlier, the Wolfpack, their game's a little bit more consolidated because of some earlier cancellations and they've been playing well of late. Playing uh, top teams and uh, competing well. A lot of more physical starting out in that first period. Talking to Coach Doherty, you'd like to see the team get into a little bit more flow. Maybe everybody uh, due to some of the physical, some redemption, or doing, uh, trying to do too much by oneself. Want to open it up, get the streaking skates going, and some passes, get some hockey plays. Because neither team's had outstanding shots on goal. It's like a six to four for Tewksbury unofficially. So a lot of time spent in the neutral zone, and as mentioned, only one penalty, but uh, a lot of uh, rattling of the boards in that first period. Taking it now, there it's Sean Sullivan in the fourth check, Barnes. I look back, hands it back in, goes diagonal. Off the wall, Barnes wisely lets it go back in. He's out there with Cook and Sean Lane, who had a good first period. Streaking now, Richard Bova. He's uh, quick, he's uh, on the smaller sides, but he's quick, got good hands and uh, fearless. He's been on some of the physical play as well, both on giving and receiving end. That's the face off's gonna be to the right of Ben O'Keefe. A couple of games ago, victorious, were the Redmen as they shut out the uh, Lowell team over at Songus by a six to nothing score. Then he picked up another shutout. And uh, really a stalwart doing a great job. Stellar job for the Redmen. Between the pipes. For like a nine, four, five. Save percentage for goals against. Kept now Chapman in front. Oh, and it got off the skaters. Number 10, Ethan Long was trying to clear it. Almost put it into the corner of his own net. Chachi back for it in the race with Ben Young. Chachio plays the puck off the boards to himself, controls it in front, clearing it out of danger. Good play. Ryan Flynn helping out down low. Pittsburgh can't get it deep in a quick transition. Pushing up is Robert Banks. They use the right wall and into the crowd it goes. Just underway in the second period of play, 13.04 to go from breakaway. No score. Close call on that last one is uh, Ethan Long. Forward came down to help in the slot area and uh, Puck ricocheted off the hill of his blade and just uh, an inch or so from the far post. Luke Young, goaltender, handles this one with a paddle. And again, some uh, extracurricular activity around the net. Be a little sure of himself trapping that one. And again, we we're mentioning the, uh, the history between the teams. Latin always up for this one and a uh, good rivalry over the years. Tripping it out of the zone, it's Chaccio back in. Redmond want to get it deep. In on it uh, is Connolly. Took an approach on the, at the hash marks and it worked. Through the screen, goes high. That was a shot by Cook who had about four of them. Most of the shots, he's a break there, three on two. Coming back, shot, whoa, Benny O'Keefe, shoulder save. Probably the best chance I'd say for the Wolfpack. Traccio now, they give him space. He avoids the hip check, stays on his feet. Can't chip it in front, is going for the puck with Jason Cook. He's been the offensive threat for the Redmen. Feeds the point, trying to go through the screen as uh, four Blue sweaters for the Wolfpack, lined up in succession. Kind of the new way they play it. Players used to uh, kind of like a diamond formation, in this case a straight line, where the play is a challenge to beat you from the, from the side, from the outside, and makes it tough for all defensemen to get the puck through. So you can get that deflection and stuff. Got you a little problem behind the net. Caden Connors for the rescue, finds Jason Cook on the wall, connects smartly there with Sean Lane. Sean 
Can't get it through. Deflected wide by Ga Gavin Wainwright. We were watching Gavin, eighth grader. Getting a great opportunity, seeing some regular ice time. Behind the back, young defenseman can't make a play. Cook reads it. There's over again. Wainwright, there's the smart pass, breaking its 24. James Fitzgerald, left wall. Chachio takes him wide. They fire it across, eludes the thief. Fake shot off the wall there by number nine, Shane Sullivan. Control. And again, Boston Latin carrying the play here early. That's their second or third shot. Off the wall. Matthew Cook. Trying to get some rhythm out of the Redmen. And Boston Latin doing a good job keeping them from the, a fluid breakout. Both teams are going to go change. Get some flow the coach wants. And test Luke Young, especially in front. He's had some uh, with his glove side. Maybe they can exploit that. Shipping it out now, it's Connor Kremen. Kremen puts it in. Young lets this go, it's in and played by Robert Banks. Off the back wall, they try to connect on the hash marks that works. Kept in, Spinorama, Jason and Sagna. And the puck this time trapped by Young on the side of the goal. 10.20 to go. Official's gonna put the net back on the peg. And to the left of um, Young. Kremen now with help from Insagna. Comes through the front. Oh, it hops over the stick. Great. Three on one if they happen. Oh, and number 12, that was Gil Martin. He chose to flip it in. But numbers for the Wolfpack behind the net. Coming out of it. Good D that time. Puck batted around. Handled by a glove and then down the ice. It's Insagna. Goes to the left side, followed up there by Kremen. Throws to the front, wide of the net. Luke Young had a read on that. Back for the puck, it's Justin Rooney now. They'll try again, indirectly off the wall, doesn't work. Kremen, transition now. As uh, Billy Doherty plays it up. He's already playing the right D, along with number 16, Justin Rooney. And Rooney's got to play there. He stands up. Patrick Harnan. Boy, he felt that. Solid shoulder check. Little size advantage, too. Doherty's way. This time, Harnan comes back. Competitive. Shot loose. Puck. Oh, Keith made a good save. The dangerous rebound and a deflection. The pressure put on by the Wolfpack. And Bill Keith trying to grab it. He's down. Body's in front. Controlled. Good puck control through the screen. O'Keefe with the blocker. Boston Latin has got a tired group of red men out there. They're trying to take advantage. Can they get it through? No. It's wide on the net. Jason Cook trying to take charge and does it with the wheels. Flips it out and allows the red men to go for a much needed change with 839 to go. Behind the net. Herrera. Blue screen fresh off the bench. Oh, Connor Caden. Top of the circle, it just deflected off his stick at the last minute. He goes, he likes to go down low, behind that goal line when he can. Putting the press on with Stone, allows Caden Connors to step up behind the wall. Played smartly with the glove. That's Aaron Connolly. He needs some help, Stone in. And they're double teaming now. McGrath taking the space away. D D, -D, -D pass it goes. Redman smartly played across. Oh! Hook shoots it anyway after the whistle. And the bench doesn't like that. It's a shooting machine, number nine, Jason Cook. And uh, that one, hey, take no chances. Throw it to the net. Both teams get to change the line. Tewksbury will have the uh, Tyler Barnes out there with Lane. Sean Lane has, uh, I believe that's Matthew Cook on the left wing. Down they go, that's Matthew Cook cleared in and the four check is on. Kyla Barnes in on, takes the angle on Sullivan. 
keep it in. Oh, throwing it to the net. Not a bad idea. Cooper Roblod, two on one, coming through. Ruba, sliding it forwards. That was a nice play by Roblod. He made uh, Boba hold up. They had a two on one out of a pack. Quick moving transition. Oh, and the deflected puck goes wide on the short side. Good energy. That's Sean Lane winning another puck for the Redmen. Throws it in front. Can't make the commitment. Sean Lane shared down. No icing. They force the captain, Connor. Caden Connors reverses. Wing to wing on the wall. Matthew Cook try again. Matt, oh, he tried to pass it to himself through the center. With the help of Connors, he regains control. Going in, Connors calls for it. To the net. Low, oh, smart play. And again, that rebound exploitation on uh, Luke Young. Ethan Long, the freshman, uh, the uh, senior. Going in, letting him know, like, listen, uh, you've got to trap that puck. As it's been um, a little unsure of himself on some of those rebounds. Wilkesbury just needs to crash that cage. And the speedy number eight, Ben Young, in pursuit of Chacho. Gets the puck. Turnover. He's picking it up now. It's uh, Harnan. Wilkesbury checks off, keeps it on the outer perimeter. Right side. Breaking it out now on the uh, left wing, Caccio. He can't rush it alone. And again, that fresh breakout has been an issue for the Redmen here. There's a connection. Chapman now with a flip. Allows uh, Flynn, that's um, Ryan Flynn on the flip to get a couple of extra strides. So uh, two against three in that far corner. <laughs> it's number 28, Tom Harnan, just trying to pinch it. The officials want him to play it. And out of the pack come the Redmen. Behind, able to flip it around the kick plate. But kept in. Joshua, it's not play. He's uh, threaded off there by John Gilmartin. There's no room for him. Robert Banks now takes control, chips it in as the Boston Latin Wolfpack peel off for another line change with 5.25 to go. Fast moving second period, not a lot of whistles. And which team is gonna break through first? First goal is gonna be really, really important. Cole Stone doing his part, twisting and turning in the corner, feeds the point. Good job hanging in there was Rooney. He fires a diagonal in far corner. That's uh, Jason Cook doing all the work. He's got two wolf pack on him. Cole Stone's there to help. Connolly as well as the play turns over. Off the glass. Another two-on-one chance for the Wolfpack if they hurry. Cleared in, just going wide. As Aiden Fitzpatrick ran out of room. Behind the net, down low, faking off. It's Cole Stone, but again, some fine work by number three, Richard Boulder. He's got a good, about probably three shots on goal. That one tried to go short side. But uh, winning some pucks behind that red line, forcing Cooksbury to throw it out quickly and uh, challenging the Redmen to break it out. He has a chance. Going left to right, Jason Cook. His shot was deflected. He's got Chaccio at the point. He's trying to bring it down low in front all by himself. Well, eyes behind his head. Paul Stone with the best chance for the Redmen. Found himself hidden behind the D. Luke Young's good size goaltender. He had the pads down, so not a lot of room for uh, the maneuver to go up the top shelf. But a uh, good, uh, good idea. And uh, following that play into the corner after Cook had shot it. So Redmond will get the change up for the faceoff. Four minutes to go here. The officials will go, they'll place it to the left of Luke, of Luke Young. Lanes out there again with Matthew Cook and Barnes. They've had a good couple of shifts here, throwing their weight around. Starting there, loose puck, the race is on. James Fitzgerald in the slot. Rover, a great save! Wow! Crowd 
out of reps, Kenny O'Keefe. And really a nice play. Streaking Fitzgerald took the defenseman with him and fell a short pass to Richard Bova. Got the puck away, good, good leverage on it, about halfway up. Snappy glove save to the left. And he'll key for the rescue. Transition the spin around. Connors left to play with since he put his glove down. Oh, it got through. Long pass. Gavin Wainwright, the youngster, went right through his glove. And I don't think he'll be a catcher. And almost a great chance for a break in. Opening up the play a little bit. Off the boards, smartly played by Wainwright, under control. Indirectly connects with James Fitzgerald, who led that last rush. Fitzgerald can't get by Connors. He'll start three on two for the Redmen if they hurry. Backhand pass, Barnsdale will play it. Down the corner, smartly in front of the bench. Over. He's doing battle there with Matthew Cook. Matt's got a little size advantage on him, so he'll take the puck in front. Uh, doesn't break loose, kept in. Oh, no, Caccio tried. Fires it back in. Redmen have to clear with 2.45 to go. No score. A long flutter. Not much use to that pass, and that's going to be icing on the uh, wolf pack. Time for some stats here from your telemedia station. And, um, in terms of goals for the goal differential, big differences here. Of course, the Redmen, 61 goals this year in game number 14, only 16 again. So, uh, uh, phenomenal uh, ratio, a uh, plus 39. Whereas, unfortunately, for the uh, the overall goal scoring is um, 19-4 and 24 against for the Wolf Pack. So that's a, a negative seven. So. Goal scoring hasn't uh, come easy for them, but uh, they're feisty, they can skate, and their games have been close. So, uh, Redmen looking for that all-important first goal, because uh, we're more than halfway through this one. Breaking across, over O'Keefe's shoulder. Smiley deflects the puck with his pad to the right corner where the action's been. Around now, picking it up. Rooney connects briefly with uh, Freeman. Fired back in. Wolfpack make the red men go the full 200. And we have a uh, penalty coming up. Maybe a bench miner as there was confusion at the, the bench. We'll see what's being called here. The only penalty so far in the game was Tuxbury's halfway through that first period. They whistled down. Uh, Tyler Bonds. Let's see what's going on here. With 137 to play. Coaching from the Tuxbury side. In the in the play right here, the officials saying, "No, we were calling offside. You were calling for too many men." Coach Doherty having his say. Players get to regroup. Uh, Zebras have had their say. No penalty. 137 to go. No score. Neutral zone dot. Controlled there. Nice job following it through Aaron Connolly to flap it down deep. Shane Sullivan, the captain, on the wall. Connects with Wayne Wright. Latin trying to work it deep. Play underneath us here, right now, wall. And again in the neutral zone. Wayne Wright trying to make a play. Able to keep it out of harm's way. Going back for it, Shane Sullivan again. He'll try again, Wayne Wright. And directly to his partner. Little uh, cross signal there. Who's gonna take it? Left, white, Reeve going in. Connors now going to the ice brawl. Redman trying to move in. Here's a chance for Connors through the screen. Save Young. It's tipped up. Still controlled by Tuxbury behind the net. 
39 seconds to go. Tewksbury owns this shift. The wraparound, oh, we just missed. Fire it there, it's Cole Stone, it's still loose. Finally breaking out of the pack, it's Harmon. That's Patrick Harnan trying to get past Chaccio. In front, oh, he had number 16, they were alone. Aiden Fitzpatrick couldn't make the pass, 20 seconds to go. Both teams taking a crack at it. It happened so quickly. And that was an innocent play between um, the two defensemen. Wayne Wright, number six. Backhander off the wall for his partner, and they should go up the wall. Doesn't work. And as a result, Redmond with a few of their best chances close to Young. But that will seal it for the second period. And no score as we go to the third period. Stay with us here on Tewksbury Telemedia Hockey. Breakaway Arena here, third period. Now the players came out first, the officials came out just a few minutes later, and uh, the bench is pretty pumped up here. That's what this shift they say. As we're scoreless here, this is normally the time we're bringing you up to speed as we enter the third period on key goals or where we've been, but there have been no goals, just a couple of penalties. There are actually one. And uh, it's been well played, it's been physical. It's the uh, Boston Latin Wolfpack and the Redmen of Cooksbury. Do battle. One goal could do it alone tonight, the way it's been played so tight. Faceoff's going to be as the players go. Uh, this time, Cooksbury will be on your right to left for the third period. Benny O'Keefe with a spectacular glove save late in the second period, keeping it at a scoreless tie to right now. Been a pesky. Maybe an opportunistic team for the Boston Latin. Their best chance, Richard Bovis, as I was just mentioning, from the slot. He'll keep robbed them, club side. Face off's gonna be down to the other goaltender, Luke Young's right. But he's played solid. Hasn't been tested uh, for a while. But he's kept the pucks uh, under control. No second chances for the Redmen. And on a fresh sheet of ice here in February 8th. It's cold in the rink. Ice is hard to play fast. Caden Connors goes wall, can't connect. Regroup there as James Fitzgerald fires it back. Bova takes a shot at it. Huck breaks loose. Right wing wall. Fitzgerald able to get it in deep behind Young. Goes over to the left wall. Connors follows it over there, chips out the center ice. There to help Andrew, uh, Nick Cacciaccio. He touches the puck a lot during the course of the game. Him and his defensive partner, Connors, big part of the leadership here for the Redmen. And they're looking to set up an opportunity, try to get that first goal as the puck again down behind the Boston Latin net. Redmond doing a good job getting it deep. They have to sustain some pressure though. Been able to break it out. Ethan Long. This is what uh, Latin's been doing. Been able to kind of uh, bend. Quick turnover. Maybe a bounce off a skate could be the difference here. A play like that, number nine. Shane Sullivan trying to take care of the puck, but again, turned over in front. Here it is. What a save. Luke Young, Stones. Matthew Cook had a great chance. Took it, tried to deke it, and a stacked pad old fashioned save at uh, the post that time. Teams took Ferry off the board. Connors with the shift, able to get it in. Right back off the wall and flip down. Picaccio still out there. Long shift for the D man. Picacci, he's got two on him. Able to get it out to center ice. Connects with Flynn. He's out there with Connor Kremen, number 22. And number 24, Ben Chapman, who just picked up the puck. That's Brady Chapman. Sorry, Ben. He said Brady. On the wall, burst of speed. It's Harnan. Held off there. Connors gets picked. Harnan with the help of Bova. They've been uh, involved tonight. Brady Chapman safely off the wall. And Tewksbury trying to break it out. Cross ice pass doesn't work. That's why Lynn can't connect it. Make matters worse, it's icing. 
face off. We'll come back to O'Keefe. We'll take a look at the standings here. And uh, as a result of the um, loss the other day against Mansfield, bringing the uh, overall record to 12-1, uh, and one, the Redmen rank number 19 of all the uh, hockey teams at MIA in front. Look out for that one and save by O'Keefe. The official right there to call it. Too close for comfort that time. Chipping it off the wall, fired back in by McGrath. Making the Redmen go all the way back. A deep puck, good breakout. On the wall, streaking. Number 17, Connolly. But he can't keep it in. It transitions. Carrera now throws it across. O'Keefe puts it right onto the stick of Jason Cook. We're working that right side diligently all night. Some good shots. He follows his own pass in behind the net. He needs some help. Going right in on cue. Stone, Cole Stone. Pittsburgh pushing the issue. Connolly ready, trying to read the play. And Luke Young takes an important whistle there with 11.01. Four minutes already burnt off the clock. So I was stating uh, in the uh, Merrimack Valley 2 Conference, um, the uh, Red Men are still undefeated at 10 victories, no losses. Tonight, uh, they want to make that 11-0 and, and uh, stay atop the uh, MCV with the undefeated record right on the heels of Lincoln Sudbury, who are picking up the play. They maintain that first place position with an 11-2 record. Again, the 10-0 will help if uh, the Redmen can pick it up tonight, maybe kind of help them back in the first place. And again, the rank 19th overall with their exceptional record are the Redmen. We won't mention the ranking for the, uh, it's like 151 or something for the Wolfpack. The other, in terms of ranking, the Hockey Night in Boston for Division Two ranks the, uh, still ranks the Redmen. Number one team, Division Two, Hockey Night in Boston, breaking through the other chance. Oh, alone up front. Look out for number four. That was Colin McGuire found some space. Thumped off the puck now on the left wing wall was Barnes. He follows it through. Chipped back by Gavin Wainwright. And left on the rush. It's Fitzgerald now. Good defense there by Chachi. Picks it up. Look. This is Matt Cook, cuts, through the wall, screen, a uh, good chance, just missed the top corner. Had number 14, Tyler Barnes, crashing the net. We're at the 10 minute mark remaining, no score here at Breakaway Arena. Cook's be able to push it back in. Trying to make changes on the fly as well. We gotta stay crisp, no room for error either side. Almost a turnover, an aggressive four check by Ryan Flynn. And Flynn on that four check, left side. Trimmon picks it up, keeps it on side with the hands. Shot saved by Young on a great pass. Ryan Flynn had a shot. Low to the far side, right pad save. And the play opens up to speed. Working that wall, it's Jeremy and Sagna. Ben Young foils that, but thrown back in. Caden Connors backed out there, as you might expect. He'll go to the front, number 10, Ethan Long can't break it out. Everyone's stepping up, Tim McGrath, captain, trying to get something going for the uh, Wolfpack. Doesn't work, Aaron pass. Pittsburgh fights their way through. It's been a lot of neutral zone play so far. Back to Chaccio behind the goal, pulls up, surveys around the wall. Left wing wall, Connolly gonna push it back in. Look out, control. Connors now calmly throws it out. Let's see, the officials are going to call icing on it. Went right over the stick. Mizarka, a little bit of pepper on it by Connors, made it a little difficult to handle. 
equals my thought on the uh, the rankings, the Hockey Night in Boston. So they've got um, got the 12 and one record, Tewksbury first, Mass Economic. 12 and two in Canton, number three rank, Hockey Night in Boston rankings as of February 8th. And a ways to go this season. It's the Redmen putting a stellar season here together, looking for an all important victory. Down behind the goal line where they like it. Jason Cook, he knows the point's open. He's trying to take the uh, wolf pack with him. Fires it, reverses behind the wall. A little too hot, can't contain it. Rooney tried off the wall. Rooney gets another chance. That's um, Jason Cook, pass across. Little behind Cole Stone. Rooney on that one, he'll try again. Chipped in. On the four check, Barnes tries to start it, followed up. Oh, and a big hit there by Connolly. Tuck chipped out of the zone though. They're able to take the hit. Here's a break. Cutting through the pressure, it's number nine, Cook. Got through the check, two of the uh, Wolfpack tried to hit him. Cook's still going behind the net, and finally it goes to number seven. The Wolfpack, they connect over the stick, loose puck. Sean Wayne settles it down. Sean twists, turns, turnover though. Tough one, Pova, he's been going. Maintains control, slides it in. O'Keefe wisely snags it with his glove and his blocker. With 6.57 to go, half the period shoot up. And no gold yet as we do battle here at the breakaway center. Face offs to Benny's right. Takes it to Spurry, bounce, bounce. Oh, with the streak is a chance. He's number 11. Matthew in. Cook scores! Matthew Cook! Spin right by us! And a smart play by Barnes. It's Tuxbury who strikes first. Ten minutes to go, seven minutes. We got eight minutes, 12 seconds. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Matthew Cook streaking from that left side, used his shoulder, got leverage. Young was down, went far corner. Great goal. Tuxbury takes the lead, one to nothing. And we'll see a push now, no doubt by the Wolfpack. They're no strangers to these close one goal games and they've held up, they've had some chances. There they win the puck here, trying to go through some extra effort there by Brady Chapman. Able to thwart the effort there, thrown back. Picked up uh, by Shane Sullivan. Throw it all the way in on O'Keefe, got on goal. Gaccio now trying to work over off the puck. Slowly put up. Put back in. Sean Lane with the puck on side. Here's the slot. Oh, Connor's read it. He couldn't get it through. Turn back around again by Sean Lane. Oh, close call. And stuffed at the two stuffs at it. So, an open net. Score! Connor's picked it up. Boston Latin victimized as half the team was cross checking down Matthew Cook, I believe. They forgot about the puck. Hayden Connors makes him pay the price. Two to nothing for the Redmen. The bench. Not happy over in the uh, Boston Latin side. Wondering why there was no whistle. Cooksbury stayed diligent. Couple of stuffs. And it's the captain, Caden Connors. Picking up the goal, a key one. Time of that goal. That would be a nine minutes. And eight seconds in. So two goals within a minute ten of each other. And the Redmen in business here in the third period. 5.34 to go. They want to keep the pressure on. That second goal is a tough one. Now it's flowing. Long connection. Ryan Flynn going in. Nice job there. Poking at it. Lang Sogner. They don't give up on it. Feathered in. Jason Cook around the end boards. Corner 
it continues. A lot of cycling. Chapman, Chapman, Chapman and Lane pick up assists on that goal by Connors. And Connors, by the way, also picked up an assist on the goal that we had uh, Matt Cook started the scoring with earlier. So we had an update on that. Going deep now. Delayed penalty coming on Tooksbury, I believe. And the Redmen are gonna send another, uh, I believe it's going to be Connolly who will sit for two minutes. And we'll get to see the Latin power play a second time. The first one, uh, they had some shots early in the first period when Barnes took his penalty. This will give them a chance to kind of get back in it, but it's probably imperative they score. It's only four minutes, 45 seconds to go, and it's a two-minute penalty. Face-off one, or P1 by Sean Lane, and Tuxbury able to push it down. The speedy Barnes right in. Wins the race, he's against the rookie, Gavin Wainwright, who we've mentioned a few times tonight. Taking on the pressure. Killing valuable kicks back there. The roughing is the call. But Cheryl can't break it out. Tuxbury steps up, throws it back down. Minute 29 to go on the power play for the Latin Wolfpack. Runners able to stand up Sullivan for the moment, but behind the net. Around the wall, Tuxbury, flawless. They'll change the uh, lines two at a time, or one at a time at this point. Out there is Cole Stone, he makes an immediate impact. Another turnover. With one minute to go in the power play, three and a half to go in the game. The Redmen with a two to nothing lead. Tim McGrath there trying to get a clean breakout. And it's just slowing it down, doesn't connect. They regroup. Tipped in there smartly by Carrera, who chipped it. Honors fades two of the Wolfpack to the corner. On the wall, nice pick. Paul Stone, two on one. He's got connection with Jason Cook and a save. A great one, hit the blocker. It's going far top corner. What a beautiful play, all chipped in. Cole throws his weight back as well. Connection there, number two, Harnan in. He's down, maybe penalty coming up, Harnan throw. Officials throwing. The penalty coming up, so it'll be a two-man advantage. For 17 seconds is Tewksbury. Coach doesn't want to see any retaliatory. So we'll see how they play it here and who gets the call, but you've got um, 17 seconds on Aaron Connolly. It's rough, he'll be out with 3.03 to play. And then all right there, it's uh, Cole Stone. He's picking up two minutes. It looked like the call might have been tripping uh, as the break in by Harnan was uh, a serious threat. He had the speed going, so uh, not enough to be a penalty shot takedown, but enough to uh, build some uh, opportunity for the Boston Latin Wolfpack. Coach Doherty takes his time out. Smart move. He's going to have three players to rely on here. At least to get that 17 seconds off the clock and uh, we'll run five and four from there on. So uh, we were talking about the uh, Mansfield breaking the uh, undefeated streak of the Tewksbury Redmen this past uh, week. Uh, only three teams left in the MIAA play that are uh, undefeated. The Hopedale, Marlboro, and Seekonk. I've mentioned them before on each of these as we've uh, enjoyed this uh, undefeated season. Again, what they're shooting for is uh, perfection in uh, MVC uh, dual county play, Division Two here. Trying to improve to 11 and 0. They've got to get through these penalty kills, though. Boston Latin gets a quick one, and uh, they still have a couple of minutes with the power play to go for the equalizer. So uh, Coach Doherty has sent out Matthew Cook. Got the first goal, got the Redmen going. A great stride in from the left wing off of Caden Connors' feed. Connors is out there, and of course, uh, his partner, Nick Chaccio. 
Going with the experience. Number three, Richard Bover on the draw. He'll call it again. One clock ticked off. We'll see if they put it back. I don't suspect so. Up down, controlled by the Boston Latin D. Again, fumbling the passes. That's got to kill him. Because Connors gave them no room. Four seconds. We're going to try to go to the uh, strong side. Fired in on O'Keefe. It's a five on four now, so the penalty is up to Connolly. He dropped, dropped through the screen, triangling up. Or diamond, I should say, more the shape is four of the red men with the net empty now. Moved there by Frank Woods, head coach. Pulls the goaltender. Has no choice, so it's a six on four. And the blue trying to press. They've got to control that puck a little better. And out of the pack they have. Okay, they feed the point. Going across, a little slow to develop. Uh, again, that blockage in front to Chachio. Nice save through a set of skates. Blast doesn't make it through. Redmond paying the price. Sean Lane that time. Lane trying to push with an empty net. They kept in by Boston Lab. Through a screen, kicked by Connors. The backhander and a quick glove by Penny O'Keefe. As the backhand flip. Didn't have a lot of mustard on it, but it was going high to the corner. It was on net. And uh, not only the great save, but a chance to get the whistle. Let's recap here. So you got a minute 50 to go in the game. The red men are going to be uh, still shorthanded. The net is empty, so it's a six on four, 47 seconds to go in Stone's penalty. And controlling D to D, throwing it through the screen. No opportunity to tip it. And there's a shot at the open cage from a distance. And the red men can do that because of the uh, opportunity. Oh, and just missing it. Finally saying, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sleep well on that. I had a, every night he tried to stuff from behind. Tribute to his skating. Kept in, though. Here's a chance. Breaking through. Got through enough, though. Deflected in the corner. Behind the goal. Latin comes out. Sliding. Chachio. Nice save. Cook takes a shot at it. There's the empty net. And that missed by about two inches. Number nine. Jason Cook taking action. The penalty is up. Minute to go. And the red man in control by a two to nothing score. The empty net stays intact. They're going to have to clear. Latin does. Uh, the bench feels the officials miss the offside. Last minute of play. Benny O'Keefe. He'll keep the puck to the corner. The perimeter. This one looks good. Oh, and it missed. Almost a carbon copy of Cook's last shot. So Jason Cook had a couple of cracks at it, as did Aaron Connolly. But more importantly, the Red Men stood tough during the uh, two-minute advantage, or the, uh, the shorthanded situation and man advantage, I should say, for the Wolfpack. Another uh, face-off in the defensive zone. Benny O'Keefe, two great saves. And down it goes, controlled off the draw, and again, clogged up this time. Sean Lane fires it. Doesn't go, blocked off by McGrath. 29 seconds, half a minute. Wolfpack have to make a play, they're going wide. It's getting deep, Block off there nicely, followed up by Harnan, he can't get it. Redman control, another flip, full length of the ice. This will be an icing, as there are no penalties. With 14.2 seconds to go. And everybody up on the Red Men bench as they look to improve to 13-1. And, and uh, as I've mentioned, they go to 11-0 in uh, the MVC League and uh, maybe put them back over the um, Lincoln Sudbury for at least the interim. Shipped off the wall. That's all you need to do here to play this out. Lane has an idea, throws it into an empty net. Nope, it's missed that post by that same <laughs> diameter three times. Not tonight, but for enough the victory and some extra curricula. The officials better get a control on this real quick. Tim McGrath. James Fitzgerald. So some uh, tough ending. It's a hard fought game. 
Tim McGrath, the captain, number five, lost his composure. And you could hear the Redmen bench saying, hey, listen, take the high road, get out of Dodge with the two to nothing win. They worked out uh, a solid effort in this third period to take the victory. Final score, Tewksbury Redmen two, Boston Latin Wolf Pack nothing. Thanks for joining us on Tewksbury Redmen Hockey.